Hey guys, it's me, James, from TechMedics, and today we're going to be talking about CES. So what is CES, and why did we attend? CES is a consumer electronics show that's held out in Vegas every year, and it really showcases some of the new stuff that vendors and manufacturers will be releasing for the rest of the year. The reason why we were there is because it really showcases some of the new technologies that might eventually end up in your workplace. With over 170,000 attendees, it was crazy. By keeping up with the latest consumer trends, we were able to predict what will be hot for the upcoming years for our business clients. With that said, here are some of the things that we think will be very popular for the upcoming year for business trends. Virtual reality, display technologies, wearables, drones, physical security, unified communications, and so much more. So virtual reality is not just about gaming. You know, it's those glasses that you put on and it really gives you a different perspective on how you look at things. So in this next clip, I'm going to go to show you how businesses can use VR technology for their workplace. As you can see in the next video clip, Daiquiri does a great job of showing the applications of augmented reality. Augmented reality is virtual reality, but it uses your surroundings as the landscape. It is a blending of virtual reality and real life. Augmented reality in an operating room may seem like science fiction, but the practical application would be amazing. Think about reduction in work errors or the amount of support staff required to perform an operation. In a manufacturing environment, the ability to see in real time allows for increased productivity. Not only do you know how much inventory you have, but it can provide a user with guided work instructions. Now we could take it a step further by tying it into a unified communication system where you could have a remote expert join you and share the same visuals that you are looking at. So maybe you're a little bit old fashioned and this VR technology is really not for you. So what do you do? We go to 3D printing. And we certainly saw a lot of that at CES. From architecture and design to healthcare, to manufacturing, there's a lot of applications for 3D printing. So display technologies typically at CES is one of the highlights of the show. In this particular one, there hasn't been much change from previous years. One thing that we've noticed though is that it's getting thinner and thinner. One of the TVs that we saw was as thin as their iPhone. And you use the magnet to go ahead and put it up, hence getting the name Wallpaper TVs. This year, they're introducing more 4K video monitors for your computers. 4K is definitely the highlight of this year. Almost everything that we're seeing now is becoming 4K. The one thing that we're seeing less of this year is curved TVs, but we are seeing an increase of curved monitors. Now in our next clip, we're going to go to show you some of the wearable technologies that's coming out and how they might be usable in your work environment. So with wearables, we see that transition happening now. We've seen the first generation of wearables, typically meant for you know, keeping track of how your heart rate is, how fast you're moving, how many steps you've taken. But now it's really moving over to version two, which we feel is going to be very beneficial for businesses. So you probably already know about wearables. A lot of people use them. Fitbit, iWatch, Samsung Gear S3, 
I mean, a lot more are coming into the marketplace now. Uh, we've seen that at the show. We have Armani that's releasing their own new line, Michael Kors. We have Fendi, Gucci. I mean, pretty much all the name manufacturers are going to be releasing some type of wearable in the near future. So at the show, we had an opportunity to discuss with Samsung how they're using the Samsung Gear S3 in a work environment. So they're talking about the janitorial staff being equipped with the Samsung Gear S3 and how every time there's a task that's required, they get alerted via the watch. So the beautiful thing about this watch is the janitorial staff gets an alert on their watch when a certain task needs to be accomplished. For example, if the trash needs to be thrown out or a soap dispenser needs to be refilled or they ran out of toilet paper. And then once the task is accomplished, they go ahead and they check in through the watch, notifying whoever made that request that the task has been completed. So think about how efficient that is. You don't have to go to a computer, you don't have to log in, complete the task, you could just go ahead and do it off your watch. Now with that thought in mind, if you could think about all the other possibilities of how you could use it in your workplace, it's really tremendous. Man, I've been walking around CES all day long today. I'm exhausted. I really need a new ride. Let's go check one out. Using drones, they offer a cool and unique perspective what you typically won't be able to capture using a regular camera. The new generation of drones have the ability to avoid obstacles, follow you, and has extended battery life. These features alone make it useful in a business environment. So think about Amazon delivering packages using these drones, or Pizza Hut delivering their pizza. And the latest is using drones for physical security. If you haven't heard already, there's already manufacturers working on technologies using drones for your home surveillance. Yicheng is a company that specializes in drone technology and has worked with the Chinese government to deploy drones all over the city. So in 2017, we'll probably see a lot more drones being used for business applications. Now that leads us to the next part, which is Internet of Things. As you probably already know, you have all these devices that are connected to the Internet and you can remotely monitor and control them. Uh, we have our lights, we have our air conditioning system, we even have fire alarms that could alert you via a mobile device to let you know if there's a, a fire or whatever it may be that's going on in your house. So the beauty of Internet of Things is you're able to remotely control and monitor whatever device or whatever it is that you're trying to control. But have you thought about the security implications of this? How did I get in there? So I'm actually in San Diego right now behind my laptop and I'm using my laptop to um, stream my face, I guess, uh, through that device and to talk to you through that device. Wow. And you can control this unit? Yep, I can go wherever I want with it. Back, forward, side to side, wow. wherever I want. That's awesome. That's awesome. Feel free to ask us questions or let us know if we missed anything in the comments below. Look out for our upcoming videos. We definitely have an exciting year ahead of us.